to Scrapyard Diecast Racing. As always, I'm your host, Artemis Tone. And this is me, your co-host, Frederick Allen Seto. Today is race four, and it's all about speed. Literally. It's speed racer versus speed buggy. One was born to race, and the other was built to race. Literally. Will you cut that out? Why don't you stop fooling around and do your job, like introducing the fans to today's racers? They raced. They raced today. In lane one, long before there was ever any lightning in McQueen, This living car raced around the world solving mysteries and crimes. It's the original living race car. Er, uh, dune buggy. It's the one and only speed buggy. And up next in lane two, it's another racer whose first name is Speed. Speed Racer, racing in the iconic Mach 5. This beautiful car was created and built by Speed's own father, Pops Racer. This car is a technological marvel, containing all sorts of useful gadgets and pieces of equipment. Now that we've met both racers, let's no, get up to- they're not both named Racer, but they are both named Speed. I meant racers. Literally. Hey, now you're doing it. Anyway, Barry, let's stop wasting the fans' time and get up to the guillotine gate and get this race started. I was literally trying to say that before you interrupted me. Starting off in lane one, it's Speed Buggy, and in lane two, it's Speed Racer. Actually, Barry, it's gonna stay that way because today is Saturday. So, what's that have to do with anything? It's in the safety officials' contracts that they get off Saturdays to stay home and watch cartoons. But we have cartoons right here on the track, literally. Will you cut that out? Why don't you stop fooling around and do your job, like telling the chipmunk to start the countdown? Hurry! They're even! Speed crashes! Racer, that is! The buggy is all alone! Whoa, look out! (laughs) Wow! What a way to start this race! You can see why they're both named Speed. They tear out of the guillotine gate, perfectly even! And they stay even all the way down Nevada. But then Speed Racer gets into trouble in the bottleneck. While trying for a pit maneuver, Speed Racer does get that buggy spinning, but ends up sending the Mach 5 into the wall and he flips. He doesn't only flip, Barry. Speed Racer and the Mach 5 are both ejected off the track. Luckily, I noticed Speed Racer tuck and roll at the last possible second. Man, that kid is good. But as a result, Speed Buggy is all alone going into Carmine Corner. And you can see what happens when the safety officials have the day off. We end up with a loose road cone on the track. Thankfully, Speed Buggy easily steers around it. And check out this little bunny hop Speed Buggy pulls off in Clunker Canyon, just to show off to the cameras. Then Speed Buggy comes burning down the boulevard and across the finish line like he's on a mission. A mission to what? Destroy the finish line, Cam? Is he going to pay for that? Do living cars even have a wallet or a bank account? All good questions, Barry. I guess lucky for Speed Buggy, the safety officials are off, so there's no one here to charge him for that camera. It looks like Speed Buggy has a lot of luck today because he was also lucky enough to put the first win on today's scorecard. Here we are back at the guillotine gate for heat two. And we can see how effective the tuck and roll is because Speed Racer doesn't even have a scratch on his helmet. The same can't be said about our finish line, Cam. Oh, don't worry, Barry. While you were reading the heat one scorecard, I ran down there and put your phone on a tripod. You did what? Shh, not now, Barry. The countdown is starting. Three, two, one, go! They go wide! Whoa, what a block! Speed Racer ejected again! But the Mach 5 is still in it! And so is the road cone? Oh no, watch out! My phone! Wow, 
<laughs> that was crazy, Barry. My phone. I know, right? It must have exploded in like to a billion pieces. But we'll get to that in time, Barry. Look at the way the two speeds go wide once the guillotine gate opens up. And they are both hugging that wall as they race down Nevada. Then, in the bottleneck, Speed Racer uses one of his gadgets in the Mach 5 to do some kind of crazy sideways block. And then right at the end, wham! He sends Speed Buggy slamming into that barrel. And he ricochets hard to the other side and then crashes into the bottleneck cam. So now that's two cameras he's broken? Yeah, he's really lucky that the safety crew is off today or he'd be racking up those bills. And speaking of the safety crew being off today, there was no one here to pick up that loose safety cone. Or was there? And I think Speed Racer must have seen it early. And to avoid an accident, he goes right back into his trusty old tuck and roll. But before he ejected, he managed to put the Mach 5 in reverse and put on the cruise control. And amazingly, while the Mach 5 leaves its driver behind, it picks up a hitchhiker, the road cone. And coming into Clunker Canyon, it's actually the road cone that's leading the race. But Speed must have also hit the big show button because not only does the Mach 5 retake the lead, but it takes out the last clunker setting up a spectacular chain reaction. Then it does an extreme 520 turn down the boulevard across the line facing forward. And destroy my phone. Eh, we don't know that for sure, Barry. I'll tell you what, you do the scorecard again and I'll run down there to check it out. Well, to prove to Speed Buggy he's not the only self-driving car on the track today, the Mach 5 puts a win on the scorecard, making this race all tied up. Speaking of tied up, your phone is actually not that bad, but the tripod was destroyed. So I took your phone and tied it up to a stick, so we should be all good to go for Heat 3. Bring it back. Oh geez, I've only been gone for a minute, and you missed me already? Alright, I'll be right up. I meant my phone, not you! Here we are for the final heat. All cameras are ready to go. All? All cameras are ready to go? I thought Speed Buggy took out the bottleneck cam. He did, Barry, but no problem. When I tied your phone to a stick, I also backed up your car to the bottleneck. My car? Yeah, Barry. Without the safety crew here, I had to think fast. And your car is the only car here with a backup cam. So we're using that. My car? It'll be fine, Barry. Plus, no time to worry, the countdown is starting! Three, two, one, go! Even again! My car is spared! Another tuck and roll! Speed buggy makes it! Watch out! My phone! Wow, Barry! Let's break it all down. Speaking of broken, what about my phone? Uh, look at the way they both tear out of the guillotine. And they keep it nice and clean coming down Nevada. But Speed Racer goes for a pit maneuver inside the bottleneck, but totally misses it. More importantly, they both missed my car as well. And that causes him to go barrel rolling into Carmine Corner, and he loses it completely. Speaking of losing things completely, how's my phone? Talking about avoiding things, look at the way Speed Buggy is capable of avoiding all the clunkers as he spins through Clunker Canyon. And what's with this shot? Barry, I didn't have much time to set up your phone on that stick, so this was as close to center as I could get it. Plus, I thought if I set it off a little to the side, it would keep your phone safe. Well, you thought wrong. I know, and you should thank me for it, because look at that spectacular crash at the end. The fans must be off their seats, Barry. Speed Buggy was able to cross the line and put a second win on the scorecard, making him tonight's winner. Plus, with this win, he just locked up his space to face Raphael in the party wagon in the first race of the semi-finals. But before that, it'll be race 5, where the most powerful man in the universe takes on the world's fastest car, the GRX. And those have to be two of the glitteriest cars I've ever seen. Who is going to win the final race in round 1? At this point, it's anyone's call. Speaking of calls, what happened to my phone? Uh, looks like we're all out of time. I wouldn't know. I use my phone as a watch. So from all of us here at the scrapyard, this is your favorite co-host, F. Allen Seto, saying good night and thanks for watching. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you won't miss the next race or any race.